In this lecture, we are going to cover VI editor and what is an VI editor? VI editor is commonly used by Linux administrators and developers for a variety of tasks such as like editing configuration files and writing scripts and modifying a source code. This is the main purpose to use VI editor and support for multiple mods of operations including a including insert mode and adding a text and command mode for executing commands and visual mode for selecting and manipulating the text the powerful and search and replacing capabilities using regular expressions ability ability to edit the multiple files simultaneously using a buffers support for macros and scripting and extensibility through the use of plugins and add-ons but we are not focusing this much level as per linux users so how they are using so vi editor vi is nothing but text editor and mainly used for text editor for editing configuration files and scripting files and modifying source files so how we are opening a vi file suppose with the help of vi we can open existing files like a file name vi and file name dot txt it will be open the existing file and it allows to insert and search the data and here moving a cursor here the vi command vi com with the help of vi command opens a file and with the help of h we are moved to left and j k l so with the help of j we are going to down and with the help of k we are going to up with the help of L, we are going to write and capital G we are using for capital G we are using for move the end of the line. These are the shortcut. Definitely we should remember this. So G G is for move to the beginning of the line. So everyone knows that if you want to enter the text into the the VI editor, first you press i i is nothing but it convert to insert mode insert mode then you enter the text and if you want to save your file you may press first escape and you do with colon wq either you are going with colon wq so forcefully it will be ends without saving changes you will be go with like a Q colon Q so directly it exits and if you want to move some some shortcuts again a move the cursor to the end of the line and uh, O to insert a new line below a line and above a line so small O so insert line insert a new line so below of the line below of the line present cursor position and capital O insert new line above of the line so definitely we should remember these all the shortcut keys H is for move the left and J is for down up right and small g g is beginning of the line capital G end of the line I for insert mode small a is for cursor move to the end of the line so these are the shortcuts and when you are opening your file vi and file name you require to please add line numbers for that escape escape and enter colon set number so it can be add the numbers and if you want to provide indents escape colon set auto indent and if you want to search the file search the content s search starting item i mean that search item search term and replace search term and replace replace and g g is your choice that is optional and this way we are going to place so with the help of set numbers it add the set numbers for each line and set auto indentations it is for 
indentations and when you are indentation when you are using a programming language that's that situation we required spaces suppose you are writing if condition some indentation space we required same as it easily it want to print so what we are using indentation next one you want to delete the lines suppose you open the file vi editor you open the file you open the file so here you want to delete the single character so how we are we deleting that move the cursor to particular position just you enter colon x it will be delete the character if you want to delete entire line colon dd it deletes that and if you want to delete the entire line from your cursor position that situation you go with d dollar means where your cursor the rest of line only it will be deletes and if you want to delete the cursor position to the beginning of the line this is a cursor to cursor to end of the line and d shift plus this one so it will be going to cursor to beginning of the line so end of line and beginning of the line so this way we delete the particular lines x is for single character dd for entire line d dollar is for cursor to left side and shift d is for like a cursor to beginning of the line and if you want to copy the content how to copy just move cursor and move cursor to position just y y it is nothing but copying the entire line and p is for paste and you want to copy couple of lines right you want to copy couple of lines that situation you are you use first move your cursor and n y y means five lines you want to copy five y y you press then automatically five lines copy and just you paste that so this is the vi so you have to remember these all the things then only you can edit your text and you modify your text so first one you want to move left down up and right h j k l and if you want to move the cursor end of the line you use a and move to the end of the line and gg is for beginning of the line and insert mode like i save wq forcefully save wq and again without saving q so this way we are going to and forcefully you want to exit this one so here and if you want to set the number for your editors escape colon set editor and set indentation for you want to set indentation for your program code you then you can use set auto indent and search for particular content and replace and uh, s and search term and replace term now and one more you want to delete character colon x delete a line dd and delete a dollar is for just you observe here this is the entire line your cursor is there your cursor is this position you want to remove this entire one you go with colon d dollar you want to delete this this space from the beginning of the line you go with shift this one you press both shift d and this symbol like a six cap symbol so you go with this then automatically delete this one shift plus and if you want to copy the entire line yy and paste the content p and you want to copy the multiple lines with a number with yy and paste p right so i want to practically execute these all the things i want to open a putty and change that font size change settings appearance okay apply right ls list of the files i want to go with the files directory file directory list of the files and there are multiple files are available here so now i want to open any one file one text editor so here i want to open vi angular suppose angular text so it open this one right so first one you want to move you want to move different lines just you go with h h is like left side and you want to go with the down you press j j means next line it be jumps and k is for up k is for up and 
एच इज फॉर मूव लेफ्ट एच इज फॉर मूव लेफ्ट एंड एल इज फॉर राइट एल इज फॉर राइट एंड इच इज फॉर लेफ्ट लेफ्ट राइट लेफ्ट राइट एंड के दिस वन दिस लेटर्स एंड कैपिटल जी यू वॉन्ट टू प्रेस एंड ऑफ द लाइन एंड ऑफ द लाइन पेज एंड सो एंड जी जी देर इज अ जी जी इज देर वॉट हैपन्स इट मूव टू द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द लाइन बिगिनिंग ऑफ द फाइल सो दिस इज अ वे वी आर गोइंग विद दट एंड इनसेट मोड आई वॉन्ट टू प्रेस लाइक अ इनसेट मोड स्मॉल आई दिस इज अ इनसेट मोड एंड देन वेर द कर्सर इज देर then that area it will be allowing to enter the text here i entered here i entered text so how we are saving escape colon wq and it will be going like save right only you want to save w w the file will be saves then you want to move the cursor of the line right you want to move a just you press a so first i want to move to beginning of the line how we are going to beginning of the line beginning of the line g g it will be going beginning of the line next line like a j and a i am pressing empty line will be generated single time escape zero next line escape zero and escape capital o so just observe i am going to escape capital o so again you observe up of up the line A again capital o above the line and escape and a small o small o what happened below and above small o is for abo capital e capital o is for abo and small o is for below and search the content here i want to search the content escape escape first we are going to go with ignore case right escape set ignore case ignore case then i'll go to and search for search particular term ignore case not not right so in this way we we can set the content forcefully i want to click this forcefully delete and again i open that angular text this is a file so then i want to copy the particular lines first you move the cursor to particular position where you want to place so i want to copy this entire line then i want to use like a y y y y then i want to paste here paste 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 completely and i want to copy these four lines these four lines for that i am using four y y four lines copied and four lines yanked just in the bottom of the line just you observe here and i want to paste here where i want to paste after this here i want to paste just yes, this way so i want to i want to delete this these all the lines right duplicate lines i want to delete for that i want i'm using here single character single character i we need to use like a x single character only single characters deletes and if in case you are pressing dd entire line will be deletes dd entire lines will be deletes but when i am moving my cursor here this is a position at the rate position i want to delete the left side one side data like for that i can use this uh, d dollar right again i am using d dollar d dollar and i want to delete right side so for that d cap what happens d cap it moves so just d cap so d deletes so this way 
V get delete. X is for single character and D D is for entire line and D dollar is for right side of the cursor and D cap is for left left side of the cursor. So and I want to replace. I first of all I want to set the number colon set number. So in this way it displays set number. Set indent is for provides indentation. So this way we are going to edit. So these all the things you need to practice. Then only you remember this all the uh, special characters usage. So everything is uh, through keyboard only we are editing the entire document. So what you should aware on these all the things. Here these all the things. So these shortcut keys and uh, the escape is most important. And uh, what is the save? How we are saving W and uh, save and quit WQ. Save and quit forcefully and uh, only quit without saving Q. So this way we are going right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.